Tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that maybe you don't know about Esri. Uh, I came to Esri about seven years ago after a few years working and traveling overseas with a background in IT and environmental consulting, but I was not a GIS expert. And there's many colleagues of mine at Esri with similar backgrounds, diverse and uh, varied backgrounds that bring good experience to Esri that help us understand the way that our users work and what they need from GIS. Um, Esri was started 40 years ago as a nonprofit, and in many ways we still operate as one today. Our primary mission is serving our customers and the community by advancing spatial thinking, geographic science, and making GIS accessible. Uh, we do this in a variety of different ways and have done so for a long time. We make uh, our software fr uh, freely available to any nonprofit, educational institution, or other organization that's doing good things and, and doesn't have the means. We also have a dis disaster assistance program that mobilizes to support responders in any disaster event situation. We were involved in 9-11, Katrina and Rita, the Indian Ocean tsunami, and many other events. The primary driver for Esri's innovation is our user feedback and the technology landscape that we're working within. We listen to what our users ask for and we try to identify opportunities to help them with technology. The bottom line is what a lot of people want are simple, easy to use applications that they can learn in a couple of minutes. All of us in this room know that often those simple apps aren't so simple, but we have to make them appear to be so. So what I really want to talk about tonight is uh, some of the things that we've been doing at Esri to make GIS accessible to everyone and to make it simple and easy to use. One of the key things that we've been working on is providing various kinds of content, Esri base maps, Bing, OpenStreetMap, uh, for free to people to use with their software. Let them focus on their work instead of on building and maintaining their base maps. Something recently that we launched is over 30 years of Landsat image services that are available for free. These aren't just pretty pictures, they're pixels that you can use to do image analysis and uh, things like change detection in the Change Matters app. We also, through ArcGIS Online, have been focused a lot on supporting our users in sharing their work and collaborating with other people through groups, social media, and other kinds of sharing that doesn't require programming. We have a variety of free web viewers that anybody can download, configure, and use without having to do any programming whatsoever. These are free. We have the same thing for uh, a variety of different mobile applications. So these applications on the screen here are all free. You can download them today. And they make it really easy for people to access ge geographic information and collect new information to be integrated with data from other sources and other tools. For developers, we have a set of free APIs for all of these different applications that allow you to customize and extend our apps, build your own from scratch, or embed our capabilities inside of your technologies. With these free tools, we can make a variety of different capabilities accessible to anybody with access to a web browser or a mobile device the visualization of data to tell their stories, the ability to collect information and create new information uh, through really simple, easy to use tools in a web browser or mobile device, and the ability to do real geospatial analysis, I'm a little bit ahead of myself, real geospatial analysis in a web browser. You no longer need to be a GIS professional or have access to desktop and server software in order to be able to leverage the capabilities of our platform. Also for developers, we've recently released uh, open specifications for our REST API and file geodatabase. Our REST API is uh, being transferred to OGC, who will take ownership of it. And uh, this makes it easy for developers to integrate our tools with their technologies. And last but not least, we've been focused heavily on the cloud for the last couple of years trying to make it simple for our users to deploy, their tech, to deploy our software without having to manage or maintain uh, infrastructure. So thank you very much. We look forward to engaging with you all over the next couple of days, and uh, thank you.